During the George W. Bush administration, North Korea was taken off Washington state sponsors of terrorists as part of a denuclearization deal. The nuclear and missile upgrade obsessed regime is included back in it now, meaning the doors flung open wider for more sanctions to be slapped on the rogue state. Eugenie starts us off with the implications of this measure by the U.S. During a cabinet meeting on Monday, President Donald Trump announced the U.S. will designate North Korea as a state sponsor of terrorism. Saying it should have happened a long time ago, Trump accused the regime of supporting international terrorism, in addition to threatening the world with nuclear devastation. This designation will impose further sanctions and penalties on North Korea and related persons and supports our maximum pressure campaign to isolate the murderous regime. He cited the murder of Kim Jong-un's half-brother in Malaysia earlier this year by a pair of individuals suspected of acting under orders from North Korea. Trump also referred to the death of American student Otto Warmbier, who was detained by Pyongyang for over a year and a half, as well as other victims of North Korean oppression and brutality. He said the Treasury Department will announce the additional sanctions soon, which he promised will be of the highest level. The U.S. president ended his remarks by urging North Korea to be lawful and bring an end to its illegal nuclear and ballistic missile developments. Following that meeting, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said in a White House press briefing that the latest move will help dissuade third parties from supporting the regime. Tillerson emphasized it was part of a peaceful campaign of pressure, and the U.S. was ultimately hoping for a diplomatic solution to resolve tensions with the North. Pyongyang's reinstatement on Washington's list of terrorist sponsors comes nine years after its removal by the George W. Bush administration as part of a denuclearization deal which ultimately failed. North Korea joins Iran, Sudan and Syria on the blacklist, which bars them from receiving U.S. aid, in addition to tougher financial restrictions. Eugenie, Arirang News.